Spoiler time, spoiler time, spoiler time! <laughs> What's up guys? Well, why did I turn to Mickey right there at the end for like half a second? What's up guys? Hello, Pencil, and here we are to do a nice little breakdown slash discussion on the spoilers for 135 of Four Nights of the Abamba Labba, which is known as, I don't know, I think they said it at the end of last chat, I just don't remember. I'm very bad with names, including chapter title names, but I am quite excited since, of course, Big Baba Bell Girl came in last chapter. Oh, got my hands rubbed together. Oh, I'm feeling on fire. So let's not waste any more time and let's hop right into it. Editing me. Ready. Three, two, one. Go. What's up, guys? That guy with a pencil here. Fun fact I do happen to. <laughs> ha wrong one. <laughs> have it on me. They keep it on me at all times. This is still technically the wrong one. But, let's see, let's see. Oh! Oh, I just noticed. Oh! I was standing on this page for a minute, too. Go, oh, there's body parts right here. Someone get them. Please. Please, someone grab them. Like, I know they aren't sentient individually. I think. I think? I think. Are they actually? I think they may be. Like, they should be able to move on their own. They should be strong enough. Like, the hand, like, the foot should be able to hop. And the, and the leg, maybe not, though. Maybe not. I forget. I know Gother can, like... But Gother's picked up his own head before. So, like, why can't, why can't y'all move? <laughs> Please, <laughs> arise. <laughs> on some... On some... Solo leveling type. Wait, no. Whatever. Sung Jin Woo. I don't know. I haven't read that manga yet. But let's see. Yeah, so Gother's legs are here. Interesting, interesting. This is a cute little cover page, though. And it's nice that Pelgard's area, while surrounded by these big old dogs, they are actually relatively peaceful. Like, the birds are trusting enough to land on the dog's nose. But yeah, Gother's arms and leg are here. So I guess they will They will come back. Hopefully. Ho I, I hope Gother isn't just one-armed and one-legged and he's an entirely new fit. I mean, that is being powerful enough to give Gother an entirely new fit? Not mad. Do I want him to get an entirely new fit? In terms of, like, his clothes? Yeah, but not his body parts. Please get those back. Let's see. Mmm, nice, okay, okay, Pug, nice, humble little castle, nice, humble little hall, nice, humble little place of residence, I see you, my boy. Bro said, yeah, you know, I got a nice and bare minimum, you know, the regular casual stuff, aka a whole mansion, you know, it's like me for real, for real, and call me the Black Knight for a reason. Let's see, and asking questions, Gother dead silent, well, I guess Gother probably has no reason to really speak to Pelgard, because like, they, and I guess the reason why these two are silent too are, then, I'm stroking the beard. I'm stroking the beard and genuinely thinking though. Why is she so calm? Is she? Is she? Once again, is she mentally stuck? Like, I'm not sure. Like, if I were still, presumably, like in the shape of five year old pencil, like I, I had never developed. I guess like there are certain biological things that happen when you get older that, as a byproduct, affect your mood, your mentality, heck, even your diet. Like when I was younger. Fun fact about a pencil. I was a very picky eater. Like, unbelievably picky. I don't know. I just hated the taste of a lot of things. I only like chicken nuggets and, like, french fries. And, like, one very specific drink. I think it was, like, high sea orange. Like, I was very, very specific in terms of what I wanted to consume. Now, just don't tell me what it is. Heck, tell me what it is. It's sometimes that'll make me want to eat it more. Like, <laughs> whenever I travel, don't get me, don't get me up burger don't get me french fries no what's the most exotic thing you have on the menu it's made out of what i don't care put it on a plate in front of me i will consume it i pro and i always will i don't know why something so something just snapped something inside of me and that usually comes with like development like i know it's a thing as you get older your palate and your taste change so maybe that's a byproduct of it she's still in the body of a five to six year old so maybe her thought process hasn't advanced all too much but like the, the brother he's aged physically and it seems like he's aged somewhat mentally in terms of like an understanding of the world and that something's wrong with it but nah she seems perfectly content i'll trust it let's see the goat being the goat the donners yeah they're, so they're just worried about being in pelgar's presence which, which makes sense right like pelgar he, well, he's clearly not Bond level, just based on the whole interaction we saw with Ironside, Pelgard, and the guy with the weakness ability. Like, clearly they're not Sin level. Neither are our cast and crew. Like, like very clearly not. Like, I don't even think Anne and Donnie are Gother level yet. Like, I don't think so. So, I understand, because with Gother being as depowered as he is right now, you know, missing a whole arm and a leg, they probably don't want to get too too animalistic or to show too much animosity towards Pelgard, but the fear is still there so that's why they're sweating let's see oh 
Never mind. I guess they're just add Colton, why are you poking it? Oh, is he Oh, maybe So Dine's just freaking out with the fact that they're just having food? Alright. I mean I mean that does look kinda decent too. It's a nice little spread, nice little spread. Uh oh, Donnie's hungry. <laughs> okay, okay. Big po Aw He's got a oh he's got a family. Aw. Are they real, Pelgard? Pel are they real, Pel Pelgard? Pelgard. Are they real? <laughs> Pelgar, don't tell me you fell for the Okie Doke too, bro. Pelgar, please tell me they're real. That kid is a carbon copy of his mom. Then again, I can't say much. I'm also a carbon copy of that mom with a pencil. For the longest time, I didn't look like either of my parents. It was funny. Like, I, I just didn't look like either of them. I was most certainly their kid. I expressed a lot of their mannerisms from their age, according to my grandparents, and also just, like, in general, based on growing up around them. But, like, only recently. But not recently. A decade. A decade's not recently. I'm getting old. But, like, now I am just, like, a, basically a male version of my mom. So maybe that's what's happening here, because Pell... Actually, no. The nose. The nose. I think that's the, that's the only thing the kid got. The nose and the thickness of the eyebrows. And maybe a bit... I Maybe, like, a tiny bit of the eye shape. But overall, like, even hairstyle-wise, these two are carbon copies of each other, which is sweet. I hope they're real, though. I, I genuinely hope, I hope Pell isn't, isn't off that chaos lean, but he, he may be, he may be, I don't know, but he's so, ca he's like treating him to dinner, but then again, he did say he just wanted to talk, so I guess this is just him talking with a meal, and like, to be fair, if Pell were one of them cook, he'd cook them, quite literally, the man's magical ability is Blaze, like, they're literally in his territory, they are at his full mercy right now, and worst comes to worst, I'm not sure. Presumably, Pelgard has a way to summon. Like, if he wanted, if he wanted the whole cast and crew cooked right now, and by whole cast and crew, I mean Donnie and go through and these two randoms. If he wanted them cooked, bring, 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 bring. Hey, Mel Felipe himself could just dive through that chaos portal he's directly above and be like, "You escaped me one time. I will not let you escape again." And boom, it just immediately slash them the atoms if he really felt like it. But. Pell's clearly being a bit casual, but I understand why Donnie may be a bit hesitant anyway, because, you know, Hellguard is still one of their mortal enemies. Let's see. Oh, See, they're, they're speaking... Man. Hellguard, he's, he's, a, he's just a cool guy. He's just a, he's just a neat... Mmm. Once again. How fast you think Gother's magic is? Huh? Huh? I'm glad you think it was magic, because he just he just casually no-sold it. Helgar just blocked it with a drink cup. That's my... And, like, he blocked it... Okay, familiarly across the table, but still, light moves pretty quick. But I, I know, I've, I've heard, in spite of the data books literally calling Gother's magic light, people don't think it's light. That's fine. We have the, we have the goddess clan. And Gother should be well above random goddess clan members who use Ark. So I still think this is an impressive feat regardless. Even though, presumably, Pelgar knows enough about Gother's ability to just block it relatively easily. But it a show. Pelgar's still up there. And Gother... Either... either every, this is, here's the thing, right? Either everyone's cracked. Or no one's cracked. Because, like... Gother... Gother's just a nightmare. Cause like is every Chaos Knight deity level? And just the sins have gotten no, like ten times stronger than that. Like and the reason I, and the reason I say this, right? If you go with curse well then again, it depends on what Bell 3 Pace ability is. But even then, on a reaction speed level, Gother should be somewhat comparable to the rest of the sins, because they're all to react somewhat to God's lightning, which comes from the Supreme Deity. The scaling the scaling implications of this are funny. That's all I'm saying. Because if, like, Gother's attacks are able to, like, tag the deities, they aren't able to avoid them and stuff like that, but then Pelgar's able to just... And this is a Gother with clearly years more experience and evolution of all of his magical abilities to the point where some of them are just passive and exist in the environment. And presumably his magic should be at least as powerful as it was 16 years ago. Then this wouldn't make, like, Chaos Knights beyond com commandment level, which seems to be the case. But it'll make them, like... Crazy, crazy. <laughs> It'll make them on, like, the top upper echelon levels of power. But I feel like that's not the case. I don't know. Cl very clearly, Gother's not going all out here, but how, how much would... Why would Gother be holding back? Presumably, he's doing this to go for information, but Pelgard blocks it. Oh, okay. Gother says something. Pelgard smiles back, and then he goes for a sip. All right. So, the, okay. So, they're at least on neutral ground, seemingly. 
and questioning. What do you want from us? And why did you bring us here? Let me tell you for real, for real. My brother from another mother. He stole my nephew. And I need y'all to help me get him back. Something. Oh, Donnie. How you go from suspicious to immediately munching that quickly? Oh, see, this is so... I'm, I'm going to be... You know I'm going to be spending so much more time on this one. This is actually translated and I know what these characters are saying. But right now, this is sweet. It's, it's nice see. It's weird, but it's nice seeing them interact all casually. And Pelgar just... <laughs> Pelgar, come on now, brother. You ain't got no manners. Don't talk with your mouth full. I say as a person who talks with water in his mouth all the time. Let's see. Uh, like, this is such a wholesome dynamic. Oh, okay. So presumably she's taking the kid to bed. So it's probably late. And she says something declarative here. I can tell just by the boldness of the text. The sister's eating without a care in the world. She must have said something relating to the families. What is happening here? I have, I have just no concept, but something, something, these guys, maybe they're talking about the general and, and illusory nature of Camelot and like the impacts, like maybe if these people are fake, if his wife and kid are fake, and if the sister's fake and stuff like that, and how much that matters to Pelgard. Let's see what Pelgard. Nothing but the Chad response. I have no idea what he's saying though. And go up there. <laughs> I don't know, something that's funny about them looking like, like, I, I get it, it's a serious moment. Presumably, Pelgar is explaining something very, very pivotal. And even Donnie's reaction here, it's most likely something. Let's see. Yada, 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 yada. Chaos, 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 chaos. This is going to be fun to read through. Uh-oh, the brother's like, I don't, ca I don't care about chaos. I need my sister, bro. <laughs> oh, okay, so he's probably saying, I'm done with this nonsense. I'm taking my sister and leaving. And Pelgar's probably like, leave how? This is my domain, and you are not allowed to leave. But wander off if you want. Alright, bro goes for a little teeny tiny stroll. Helgard chomping, that's my boy. Okay, Anne's getting angry. And stand but once again, Anne, watch it all. I don't know. Like, I get why she's angry, because Pelgard's clearly one of their mortal enemies, but like you're in his territory. He can light you on fire, Anne. And he likely has some well, maybe he doesn't. Because I don't think Pelgard ever really encountered Anne's magic. At least not by the time of its awakening. So yeah, probably not. Pelgar takes a sip. Go, go there looking all, all um, pensive. Let's see it. Okay, Pelgar laughing it off. Go there, point something out. Pelgar gets a little bit nettled. Go there, point something out again. And point something out. Go there, point something out. Pelgar gets annoyed. And makes a declarative statement. Pelgar laughs it off. And, see, <laughs> this, is, this is the weird thing about doing, like, spoiler discussions without... Like, general loose ideas of what's happening. And in a heavy talking chapter, I just have no clue what's happening. Let's see. Donnie chatting. Pelgar chatting. Okay, Pel's looking through the window at his wife and kid. Oh, they're bringing more stuff. They, okay, so they probably aren't real. I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a shot in the dark and assume they aren't real. Pelgar explains. Something with the kid. Pelgar's happy with the kid. Big Papa Pel. Big Papa Pelin. Helgard, he looks simultaneously younger and older here, and it looks like, yeah, knock him, but man, hire me. Like, like I, I'll help you, bro. Like, like these chapters, bro, I, I I know you're doing it week by week. These, these is, is to get absurd, bro. At least his hair, at least ink his hair in, bro. Let's see. Helgard, unhappy. Donnie, sad. Gilther, sad. And sad. Okay, so something must have happened. The brother, the brother saying something, something to the sister. The sister asks a question. The brother answers. Oh, the brother's starting to cry. Oh, yeah, so he's still worried about his mom. He's still very worried. And yeah, I'd be worried too. Like, like, I love my mom. I love my mom deeply. So, like, if I, w if I was literally a world away from her, in our case, like, in another country, and I couldn't access her, and I, like, knew that there was a way I could access her, but I just couldn't do it at the moment, and I couldn't get in contact with her, yeah, I don't blame him. I'd also be concerned. Sylvan? Why is she glowing? I knew she wasn't real! I knew it! 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 I knew she wasn't real. I called it! I called it! Yeah. Let me talk! Make moves! Make moves! Make moves! Yeah! Yeah, I knew she wasn't real. I knew she was an illusion. Interesting how she was tangible, though. Maybe Arthur's getting better with it. She was, she was clearly tangible, because the brother was having physical contact with her. So that's interesting. That's interesting. Arthur's abilities may be evolving. But she was an illusion, at least of some sort. 
Interesting. That's interesting. Did he, like, accept something about himself or accept something about the nature and want to go back to Britannia and that made her disappear? Interesting. But I wonder if that's a bad thing, though. Like, I wonder if one of the false people, if they disappear, Arthur gets a notification like, person has unsubscribed from Camelot Plus. Would you like to slaughter them? And then he's going to get a notification like, oh, who unsubscribed? Oh, this guy. Wait a minute. He's not in his native rock. Wait a Wait a Wait, he's in Pel... Wait a minute. <laughs> So I'm wondering if that gives Arthur any notification. But hey, you know, you boy, I, I'm, I'm usually wrong on a bunch of things. So I'll take being right on Sean, but let's see. And Donnie, Percival, talking about the talking about the goat and his mistake, probably. And so oh, darn, you know it's serious when Anne suddenly gets lipstick. Helgard's shocked and bamboozled. No, 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 no. Wait, he... So he is still... And I, I just made a... Well, here... Oh, this, mm. it, it, okay, interesting. Inter okay. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I'm about to start rubbing my eyes. Hold on. Let me talk. Stick me big one that wall. So wait, per is, this, is there more? No, this is the end of the chat. So, so Percy... Okay. This is interesting. This is very, this is very, so Percy's body's still alive. At least this is what I have to assume. This is Percy. Considering, you know, talking, they're probably talking about Percy here. And then this is, it. this just looks like him with longer hair. So that's, so there's, there's a couple of things to this. So Ironside didn't get Percy's body. I guess that makes sense, right? Because like, all the Chaos Knights were bound. I doubt Nanashi broke free. I, I doubt he wanted to smoke with a bloodlusted lance. So Percy's body was likely taken somewhere. So Percy's body is still alive. In the sense that it's still growing hair and stuff like that. I wonder if he's gotten any taller or any bigger or anything like that. And if his body's still alive... This kind of... This is very similar to the Meliodas situation. Where Meliodas' body was still intact. Elizabeth had healed it. But unlike Percival, Meliodas' body didn't age. So that's into this is very, mm, mm, I don't know. You're you're still you're still the apologizing. All right, all right. Um, I'd go more in depth. I would go more in depth on the game theory on this one, but I do want to save that for the live reaction once this all gets translated, which will be up for the patrons and members as soon as that drops. And I also want to save it for the review once I actually have translations, because I'm not sure what's said here. I'm assuming this is like Percival is alive or something, but I'm going to need some translations. This is going to be very, very interesting. We have quite the world ahead. However, very much a W chapter, very much a W chapter. If you made it all the way to the end and you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe, and also leave, he's alive! Like, almost like a, like that like that scene for Frank. And like, he's alive! In the comment section down below. And thank you so much for watching. Please remember to leave a like, share, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that little case bell so you do not miss out on any videos that come to the channel. Also, also I do happen to have a Patreon down below where you can support me for as low as one. Kind of one. Now I want things like exclusive videos, early content, and more. You also now become a member to the channel for as low as $3 a month to get the same perks and more. Some of those perks include the live reaction to this very chapter. Now, I have to thank you so much for watching once again. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. This is Dagger the Pencil writing off. I'd like to give a thank you to our three dollar members: Connor Plays, Red Wolf Four Seven Six Five, Greyhound, and Akids Void. I'd like to give another thank you to our five dollar patrons: Victor, Sean, RNG Master, Midnight Gem Lord, Metal Solid Crisis, Kevin, Igneal. Endemics LND. I'd like to give another thank you to our $7 member, Autumn's Morning Lazo. I'd like to give another chunk of thank you to our $10 patrons, Robbie Uchia, Joaquin, Idemokami, and China Doll 09. I'd like to give a fat, juicy, scrumdily unctuous thank you to our wonderful $25 member, Alex Ice Rose. I'd like to give another hefty, hefty, trifty, nifty thank you to our $25 patron, Calvin Elder.